Hello YouTube, new tool. It just didn't take too long to get. I can't believe that. It was less than a week. Amazon. Get your so you can read those. And at the end of the video, after the pictures, I'll show you how the Schrader valve removal tool works. It's like an easy out. I'll give you a demonstration of that. Do real quick, we'll show you what it has for bits. Then we'll pause, take it out of the package. But we'll have pictures of this. We'll show you how that core removal tool works. And that's your Schrader valve. That's your little thing in your valve core. We'll show you how to get a broken one out. And your nut driver part is this, like your barrel, which I'm not clear on there's supposed to be three sizes on that now. So I'm not clear on that. So you're gonna have to forgive me I had time the first time opening this up. So when I read it up on it, you can take three sides, quarter inch, five sixteenths, whatever, three eighths out. And that is right here. Using the hollow part of this. So maybe we'll figure it out when we look at it. Okay, let's pause. Let's not make this a long video and then we'll get it out and admire it. Okay, we have screwdrivers like this. We have the T everything from the TB Harbor Freight to the channel lock, a uh, weird blue and red one I got at the tool used tool place, but uh, nothing has hep like this. I'm just a sucker for this nice green. Uh, I seen this on Scout Crafter's channel. If you're not sub to him, uh, just type it in Scout Crafter. He restores old tools. That was my hobby this winter. So, here you go. We'll just do it real quick. We'll pull this out. Well, that was in there good. Uh, you have this, which you have the two torques. Two squares. And I do like squares. There is some odd things I found about square. Uh, the straighter tool I will be putting up in my air fittings in case I really need it. Because I can always stick it in another nut driver. I'm just wiping some of the oil off. You got your Phillips. I swear I'm going off camera. There's a lot of oil in there. I don't take it all off. Just roll some of it off there a little bit. That's your number two quarter inch and number two Phillips. Sorry about that. I didn't got time to edit. Get this on there. I'm looking around the camera. See, so usually I look through the viewfinder, you know, down through the view. I'm trying to look around the camera. That don't work. Okay, as far as the nut driver, these will take off the nuts. So, I know that's two sizes. I'm guessing that's your quarter inch. Common sense. <laughs> Screwdrivers for W. That'd be five sixteenths. That'd be three eighths. I I think I got it. You can see how much bigger that is. So, see that piece and this piece, which is kind of odd because you would think. Well, that is big, pretty big. It doesn't really matter, but you would think you'd want a big flat flat Phillips or square out here on the big ones. doing it again I need to look through the camera lens but you know like I said they're, they're locked and they're good now that one kind of pulled out a little easy would have been stuck in a bolt but this part don't come out really and you I've had them so cheapy that they, hold on that that falls out Being, I blue. I mean, blue is my favorite. Was my favorite because it's so rare to have a blue screwdriver. But green like that with a black, it's like an emerald. So I don't get paid to show any of this. I hope that we don't think I'm bragging what I have. I like sharing what I get. You might want one. I mean, you can find it on Amazon. Uh, type it in I could put a link but you'll find it out there uh, you'll you'll find it 
you can just put OEM tools, 13 one screwdriver, and nut driver, it's going to pop up. So, there you go. We talked about and showed off enough. We'll give you a couple nice pictures. And stay tuned. We'll show you how to get use that valve core removal tool that's in there. Thanks for watching. Okay, if you're still here, we'll show you how this works. You have your valve core removal tool. Let's take it out of here. Okay, that's to remove these. This is what it does when it goes in the valve core. I mean, there's people might not have done this much, so... Oh, I want to show it, but somebody might not do it. But say it's broke. See, say that tang broke off. See where it's broke off? And what's bad is this thing right here in the center, that plunger, it's got a spring on it. And that is really a headache. Because I've got one that's a little cross thing, you know, four-way tool. And I hate using it when I've ever had to use it. That got me to spend the money on the screwdriver, so... See if you can watch me do this. You, you kind of want to push down on that. You want to get that thing in there and start turning backwards. Is this left hand thread on this easy out? It might be frustrating, but hang in there. It's better when the whole thing falls apart. Well, I practiced this before the, there, it just kind of hung up, but that's the whole idea. Let me stick it on there. This is what you're trying to do. You're trying to push this down. There, and you're shoving that in there. Like I said, it's nice when the rest of the thing would break off and fall in there. There, that's what you're trying to do. You're trying to press the plunger out. Get this thing with the left hand it and get that to grab like an easy out. I think we explained it about as clear as mud. You see how I was frustrated, but don't give up. No, see now you can't pull it off. See that? It's stuck in there pretty good. That's the whole trick. That's how it works. And then you just put your new one in there. I don't know if there's any video explaining how to do this. I'm sure there is. YouTube has everything, but because it happens, believe me, I've I've had a break before. There, that won't have to take a close-up picture. You see how hard it was for me to get that to because there's a spring on it. But it works. You just gotta fidget with it. The more you do it, if you worked at the gas station, you'd be better at it than what I showed you. So, there you go. Thanks again for watching.